Star Wars The Clone War Season 6, Episode Number 10. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Clone Wars. Obviously, coming off of... <laughs> Coming off of the Jar Jar episodes, baby. You know what I'm saying? My man Jar Jar back at it again, saving the universe. You know, this ain't the first time he's done it, and I'm sure as hell it won't be his last time, man. But that arc, those episodes, I would have never expected to see Mace Windu and fucking Jar Jar running the team, fucking duo in to take down Mother Talisman, man. It was it. Again, like every season has those, like, kind of weird arcs to them where you're like you have some crazy ass good arcs and you're like god damn this is like fucking peak clone wars and then you get like tossed an arc like that and it's not necessarily bad it's just more of a kind of lighter feel to it as opposed to something like the season five finale or like the darth maul shit or like the fives arc you know what i mean so i get why they have it in here because at the end of the day you know, it is an animated show, and it's not necessarily all serious, so they gotta have some fun with it too, man, and Jar Jar, I feel like, is a good comic relief, a lot of people don't like him, but personally, I fuck with him, man, so I'm gonna stop wasting time, guys, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode, before we do, I do ask, if you guys are on the new channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, man, drop a like on the video if you're a boy, full reaction will be up on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes, if you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. What is lost is often found. <laughs> I, no, just no. Plo <laughs> Koon. signal is from a ship thought to be lost and was last known to be in the possession of a Jedi Master who was killed long ago. Ooh. So this kind of reminds me, just the way this starts out, this kind of reminds me of that arc where Anakin and Obi and Ahsoka went to uh, the, like, that force place. When they heard that signal coming back. They said this was from a Jedi who's been missing for a long time, man. I wonder who it would be. Obviously, it's probably not going to be somebody I know because I haven't read comics or anything like that. I want the entire area clear. We're taking everything back to Coruscant. Everything? Everything. Damn. it's a lot to take. Shit. Who's Saber, man? Fuck! Then it is the lost ship of Master Cypher Diaz. I found this at Master Cypher Diaz? I feel like they've mentioned him before, yeah? Master Kenobi, remind the Council of what you discovered regarding Master Cypher Diaz before the start of the Clone War. The Kaminoans recounted that it was Jedi Master Cypher Diaz mm -hmm. who That's ordered right. the production of a clone army. That's where it's from. The creation of the clone army kept secret from us. Cypher Diaz did. How this was done, we know not. A new piece of the puzzle we have. Yep. Perhaps clarity it will bring us. It. Man, the Jedi really just don't know shit, huh? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't hate the Jedi. I don't hate Yoda or anything like that. You know, I still fuck with Yoda, but like, the Jedi really do be stupid sometimes. Be ignorant. Master Sifo Dias was assigned to negotiate peace talks between the tribes. The negotiations failed, and Sifo Diaz was killed. I thought she was going to say the negotiations were short. <laughs> Any further information on this incident has been sealed. Mm. On whose authority? By the office of the Supreme Chancellor. Ah! That bitch! Palpatine. Speak with the Chancellor personally. I will. To yeah. see what part in this the politics of the Senate have played. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. God, man. It just irritates me because, like, I want Yoda to know, man. Like, he's so... He's Yoda! You know? Like, fuck. Come on, man. May I at least ask when Master... Uh, Sifo Diaz... He plays it so good, man. Like, he don't know his May name. May I ask when he was killed? Over ten years ago. It was. Ten years ago, hmm. I was a humble senator serving the planet Naboo. Only my predecessor, Chancellor Valorum, would have the answers you seek. Mm. I suggest you speak with him. Very Can they see when it was sealed? Because he probably sealed it when he became Chancellor. Palpatine's so good at playing shit off. Like, I hate the motherfucker, but goddamn, props where props is due. Yoda's sus on him, too. Bars. <laughs> 
Like, that doesn't seem sus to you that the Chancellor always points you in another direction and he never gives you answers and everything seems clouded around him, Yoda. Like, come on, man. You're fucking Yoda. You're supposed to be wise. Come on. Fuck. Ugh. When I was Chancellor, I sent him on a mission to deal with a flare-up in the Pike Syndicate. Their criminal activities had allowed them to almost completely control the production of raw spice. Knowing of his expertise on the underworld, I contacted Master sifo to stabilize the problem. Know of this. The Jedi Council did not. I do remember that the talks were postponed. Something about a flare-up of activity on Felucia. Mm. Who was the other Jedi you sent with sifo -Dyas? Other Jedi? No one. I know of no other Jedi. There was only my personal aide, Silman, and sifo -Dyas. I'm afraid they were both killed on Felucia. Bye. Probably killed by Palpatine. It was probably Palpatine who was there. Either Palpatine or Maul, because back then Maul was probably his apprentice, right? What trail are they following? If there is a trail, it is unknown to me. Find this loose end and eliminate it. This is not the first time you have proven to be clumsy. Lord Damn. Tenors. Whoa. He can do that shit from... Piece of failure. Damn. He can do that shit through the hologram? Like, he's far as fuck. He's still gotta be... He's gotta be... He's gotta be back at... Um, where the Senate is and shit. So how, what the fuck? We have one dead Jedi with no physical evidence of a body. A second Jedi who appeared on Felucia that we have no record of. And now Jedi. this Silman, personal attache to the Chancellor, is missing. To the Pikes, you must go. To Obadiah, yes. The thing is, there was, there's not a lot of Sith around, so nobody really knows. Like, they just see somebody with a lightsaber to think it's a Jedi, you know? But if they would say what color the lightsaber was, it would make a big difference. God, dude, I feel like this is going to be one of those crazy ass arcs again. Like, I don't know, man. Normally when it's shit that Palpatine's trying to hide is when it's like some crazy ass shit. This might be one of those crazy arcs. I mean, we did just have a Jar Jar arc, so, you know, they got to weigh each other out. Many years it has been. Funny you should say that. Master sifo ship was found. Crashed on a moon orbiting this world. What you found? We know nothing of. Would the Jedi like to join us for a refreshment? Well, the Pikes offer. <laughs> Anakin's fuck, man. I'm thirsty. The Jedi are happy to know all the Pikes' secrets. Damn. sifo was traveling with an advisor. They were sent here to negotiate with you. The man you are looking for is here. It's him? Maybe? Or maybe they just have him being held prisoner. Shit, I don't fucking know, man. These motherfuckers be playing games. Just give me a straightforward answer, bitch. I ain't trying to think. One alliance was with a man named Tyrannus. I've heard that name before. Tyrannus wanted sifo dead. However, any man that is willing to pay to have a Jedi killed is dangerous and unpredictable. Mm. But with the dead Jedi... The Pikes found another. The dude who was alive, the advisor. Tyrannus Dooku, right? We give you Silman. You forget about the Pikes' treachery. This was, this was over 10 years ago. This motherfucker must be like full beard and everything probably, huh? We are Jedi, sent to find you. Mm -hmm. Jedi. I mean, old. Have, have, you, have you any food? Mm. Oh, they course. haven't been feeding him, huh? Oh. <laughs> My man really moving like that. Ten years by himself. Here comes Lord Tyrannis. Oh, what they get? Oh, what they get? <laughs> These motherfuckers just be saying shit, bro. It's making noises. You are no longer welcome here. He don't give a fuck. The bikes were not the reason. Mm -mm. Here comes the reason right now. God, Dooku's gonna get there and probably kill him before he gives answers. Can't you see? Because, because. <laughs> Shit, Dooku. Fuck. Dooku. Shit. The thing is, it's it's weird because Obi Wan is like it's such a really he's like the best defensive fighter, and Anakin's like a really good offensive fighter. So it's like it's kind of such a weird style to fight against, you know, for Obi uh Dooku to fight against. It's like he's fighting against someone who's defending and somebody who's attacking. God, man. 
The way Dooku fights and moves reminds me of a fencer. You have no business left with the Pikes Tyrannus. For the man called Tyrannus? Yep. I told you everything you needed to know on Geonosis all those years ago. You should have joined me. Yeah, he did try and tell. Kill Tyrannus. Ooh. Damn, man. Dooku did try and tell him what's going on, you know? Oh my god. He's, he's trying to take out everybody that knows anything, you know? He's gonna dip out now. Yep. Of course, man. Dooku, like, he really just pulled up and made his escape like that, huh? That's crazy. Cover up this discovery. We must. Hmm. No one, not even the Chancellor, may know. Well, the Chancellor already knows. Designed by the Dark Lord of the Sith, this web is. For now, play his game. We must. You've been playing his game all along. You just ain't know it. Here's the fucking thing, man. Clone Wars Season 6, Episode Number 10 is in the books. Here's the fucking thing, man. With all this information that you just got, right? You just figured out Tyrannus is Dooku. You figured out Dooku was doing this from the start. You figured out essentially... Obviously, I don't know what's Palpatine. They essentially, obviously, the Sith, the Sith Lord, whatever. They know the Sith essentially created the clone army for them. Right? Why would your enemies create you an army? Obviously, what he said at the end there, we need to win the war before their plans, you know, get to 100% completion or whatever. So they think that they're obviously sus of why they created the army. But here's the thing. The Fives arc. Why are we not going back to the whole inhibitor chips and everything that happened with fives now and why is anakin not bringing that up you just learned that the sith created your army and you just had all this shit go down with the clones killing a jedi and the inhibitor chips and then you had fives telling anakin and all that and i get you know anakin's close with palpatine so that's why he hasn't said anything but with all this new information you just got why are we not going back to that you guys are fucking jedi you guys are supposed to be smart how are we not going back to that and trying to connect it? Like, I'm so confused here. Like, am I missing something? Is it I, like, I get, I'm watching from a third person perspective and I know everything, but like, I feel like if I was just sitting in there, I was with the Jedi council, I knew exactly what they know. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was here for all the events that have, ha that have happened, but I don't know what's happening in the future. If I got this information, the Sith created our army why would they create us an army why would they want to do that why would they help us start a war not only that then thinking back to the inhibitor fucking chips and then anakin should be saying something that like they literally have their answer they're fucking stupid oh my god man it irritates me because they have all the answers right there but it's like they're just not questioning anything they're like they're just, we gotta cover it up okay co cover it up but investigate like, come on, man. Like, I feel like the answers are there. They're just not finding them, man. And it pisses me off. Like, I know how it ends. I've seen Revenge of the Sith. So I know with Clone Wars, there's really no way around it. Order 66 is going to happen and everything like that, you know? But, like, I just, it irritates me because they could have stopped it so many times. And they just didn't. And they, it's just arrogant. And it irritates me, man. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you did all just enjoy the reaction that you checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below a movie or TV series that you guys want to see me react to next. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon. Shout out to the homie Silas Kane, That's So Gordo, Supernova, and the homie Quentin. I appreciate you guys for supporting me over on Patreon, man, as well as everybody else. So if you guys want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. You guys get access to early access videos, full length reactions, and a bunch of other stuff. Come join the Patreon family. Hopefully you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.